Hi, my name is Chris Spicer. And I'm Ezra Williams, and we're both seniors at West Broward High School in Pembroke Pines, Florida. We are here to help share our reading teacher's story. As we were reading the novel Stuck in Neutral, which is about a child with cerebral palsy and his perceptions of the world around him while he's trapped inside his own body, unable to communicate. Here, we have the opportunity to meet Ms. Rodriguez's seven-year-old nephew, Alejandro, who also suffers with cerebral palsy and epilepsy. Meeting Alejandro and seeing the challenges he and his caregivers face on a daily basis has inspired us to become physicians specializing in neurology. We would like to share Ms. Rodriguez's story. Let us take you back to Puerto Rico, where Ms. Rodriguez was born the youngest of four sisters. shows Nanette, the oldest, Jeanette, Nanette, and Lynette, our teacher. This is a picture of a happy family until 1981, when 12-year-old Jeanette died after a two-month unexplained illness. A year later, 15-year-old Lynette became ill and died a month after a ninth grade graduation. The family later learned that she was misdiagnosed. Looking for answers with community support, the family flew to New York City to visit North Shore University Hospital. Within two weeks after testing the parents, the family learned that the culprit was a genetic condition, Wilson's disease. Penicillamine was the prescribed treatment along with a diet low in copper. Both sisters were living a healthy, normal life as adults becoming success successful professionals. After earning a master's degree with honors from the University of Puerto Rico, Nanette married and moved to the U.S. to pursue a Ph.D. in criminology at UF. Five years after her marriage, Nanette was excited to learn she was pregnant. Following a healthy pregnancy and delivery, Nanette had a beautiful son, Alejandro. Up to four months of age, Alejandro was developing normally. Noticing a sudden inability to fo focus, Nanette took Alejandro to the doctor. She was told that his brain was not now and never would develop properly. As Alex's epileptic attack became more severe, Nanette's focus was providing care for her son. As a result, she neglected her own health, for forgetting about the seriousness of Wilson's disease if left untreated. The excess copper in Nanette's body affected her brain. Because of Nanette deteri Nanette's deterioration due to Wilson, she is now disabled and unable to care for Alex. grandmother left her job as a medical assistant to be his full-time caretaker. Now separated from her husband, Nanette must live close to her mother so that she can receive assistance in daily living. To get back the love that we lost Will my hands be enough to push on Tell me what I have enough to go on Here are videos that 
that show what daily life is like for both Nanette and Alex, living with a neurological disorder. grandmother's biggest concern. Who will be there to take care of him and others like him? Many families, like the Rodriguez family, are struggling with brain-related disorders. The brain is the single most essential organ to the healthy functioning of the human body. How can we ignore this critical organ? Ten years from now, we plan to be working hard to find solutions to these kinds of neurological disorders. So let's Let put our brains, brains together, together and support brain research. Thank you very for your time.